can you see me okay this is like the only good light that i have but if i want to use it i have to be like this close up so hey guys welcome back to another video I'm actually sitting in the car right now waiting for my mom she's in Kohl's trying to find herself a little sweater and I didn't want to get off because I'll get into that a little bit later but uh, yeah I'm waiting in the car and I thought I'd go ahead and start a video for you guys so hi all right so like I said I am waiting in the car for my mom and I didn't want to get off because your girl is very freaking tired right now um is there somebody in that car it looks like somebody's in that car and if there is somebody in the car they're just watching me talk to myself basically but anyways so i'm freaking tired guys and i am very tired because my work week was so something this week did that make sense probably not but basically so in my work week i usually just work one eight hour day and then the rest of the week is four hours this week i worked a nine hour shift and two eight hour days basically and then the rest were four hours but four or five hours something like that but either way totally messed up my freaking sleep schedule honestly and now it's like coming at me because so today is sunday and today was another eight hour day that i had to do which was my normal eight hour day but it basically freaking killed me <laughs> because it was black friday weekend and you guys know how busy black friday gets only black friday wasn't busy for us until today sunday the last day of black friday that's when people decided to come and bombard the freaking store and you know working on black friday was intense like that was probably the most busiest day i have ever worked so far in the last few months that i have been working it was freaking horrible well the good thing is that it went pretty fast because of how busy it was but that doesn't matter it was still intense and pretty freaking bad because now i feel so tired it is like barely gonna be eight o'clock i got out of work like around six and i am so tired i feel like i haven't slept in like a few days sorry if i just keep looking everywhere it's kind of what's happening right now but and i'm very sorry about this rent but you know what i need to vent because work was insane my whole work week this week was intense like jesus freaking christ i mean the bright side is that my check is gonna come out pretty good <laughs> so i'm not that disappointed but i just feel so tired and i'm just very glad that I don't work tomorrow so I can have just a day to relax and just stay in bed probably and just chill you know get that rest that I need let my body rest from walking back and forth so much and standing for so many hours like oh my goodness and I know you know you probably gonna think like oh my god what are you complaining for like it's not even all that there's people that have worse jobs but you know what any job is hard any job has its bad moments so don't come at me, all right? I'm just kidding. That sounded very rude. I'm very sorry. I'm just really tired. <sighs> I kid you not, guys. Like, I felt like my eyes were just very heavy. Like, I just felt like just shutting my eyes and just going back to sleep. But I couldn't because I was working. And the good thing is that, you know, some people were very understanding about it. Like, I would let them know and apologize for, you know, the weight or apologize for the way that I was because my head wasn't really there. And they were so freaking nice about it. Like, they were like, no, no, I totally get you. Like, it's a pretty busy day today. Like, it's totally fine. You do your thing. You take your time. And I was just like, thank you very much because... <sighs> I really appreciate that so you know shout out to you nice people i love you guys very much but as soon as i got home guys i took a very very warm shower because my body needed it like my body was done i was done i needed to refuel and just let my body relax and you know just i needed to chill i needed to relax because it was just so intense today and the crazy thing is like like i said this was the busiest sunday that i have ever worked in the few months that i have been working at my job because usually you know sundays are usually busy but to add black friday into what would have been 
a regular busy day that made it like three times busier and it was just whoo the line would never stop the line was literally long for it started at like 11 12 ish all the way till i ended my shift which was at four so that was like what like five hours of it just being so busy and then to top it off while i was ringing up people there were other customers coming and asking questions so it was like i couldn't keep my mind focused on one thing i was everywhere helping everybody it was so crazy oh man I really don't know why I'm ranting to you guys about this. I guess I just want to tell you guys how working on Black Friday was for me. I don't know, I feel like it would be a really good thing to talk to you guys about right now. Even if it's all over the place because talking about it makes me feel like I'm all over the place again. So, um, thanks for listening to my TED Talk. Okay, so it is obviously the next day, guys. I actually just got home from Popeyes because my dad got out of work and he was obviously hungry and we were obviously hungry so we went and got some chicken sandwiches well just me and my mom my dad got a chicken tender platter typical but i am home now and basically i am going to do some editing and some more brainstorming because as we all know december is finally here so let's go ahead and welcome it because we didn't do that in the beginning <laughs> So December is here, which means Christmas is coming very quickly, which also means I am brainstorming videos for this month for you guys. So with that being said, if there is anything that you would like to see from me this month, go ahead and leave me a comment down below or spam my Instagram so I can go ahead and get those out for you because, you know, your girl needs a little help. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and edit some stuff. Oh, did I save that? I did, didn't I? I don't remember. Oh, okay, it's still here. Never mind. Okay, now we can go ahead and save it. Okay, so fun little fact for you guys, while I'm, you know, in the zone, um, for some reason, editing my videos makes me smile, makes me feel happy. I don't know why, but I have caught myself smiling while editing my videos. I don't, I don't know, I can't really explain it. I don't know what it is, but whenever I'm editing one of my videos, in the middle of it, randomly i'll just notice that i'm smiling and i'm just like wait why am i smiling i don't i think i don't know if it's because i like the videos or if it's because i like editing my videos or if i like the way the video came out i have no idea but i smile when i edit my videos so there's that i guess also if you haven't noticed already i am actually filming with my phone don't know why it's kind of you know how it started out I didn't have my camera with me when I started this vlog and uh, now that I'm mentioning it my camera is actually dead so I should probably charge it while I'm speaking about it Ta -da. okay one more minute let's make it quick okay this is now saved so now we go ahead and schedule the post I don't know why this just turned into an edit with me video. That's not what this is at all. But if you guys would like to see that, let me know. Give you the little journey of how this goes for me. Good morning, guys. It is a new day. It is currently 10 12 i actually just woke up about an hour ago and finally decided to get up which is why i look like a total mess but go ahead and take my vitamins because i still have them we're good these things are so good guys like they low-key taste like candy they're just really sweet 
and that's basically it <laughs> and I also really think that they're helping my hair this is the second bottle that I actually got and my mom even noticed that my hair is a little longer than it was so I feel really good about these gummies guys I feel like they're working and the only thing is after taking those gummies I always have to drink water because I feel like I just need to calm down the sweetness a little bit so best friend <laughs> Okay guys, so this is our outfit for work. I have my Disney sweatshirt that I got from Kohl's, my Levi's, and obviously not taking my slippers. I'm going to change those later, but um, this is what we got going on. And then to also show you guys a little hair update. <laughs> We've always walked in all awkward. <laughs> so this is where my hair is at right now. And it was a little bit shorter, probably like right here. So it's grown this much with the gummies. So I'm very happy about that. Okay guys, so here we are, back where we started. I'm back at Kohl's and I obviously didn't get off yet again because I just, I don't want to use my legs until I go to work, which is an hour from now. It is currently 1.03. I go in at 3. So I have about an hour. But I will say that I do feel so much better. And also we're not in my car, we're in Debbie's car. So that's the only change. Aside from that, I am not here to rent again. I am just here to say that I feel really good. I feel like I got the rest that I needed on my day off. My body feels refreshed. I feel refreshed like mentally. And you know, it's only four hours today, so I'm not tripping at all. We're doing good. And I'm very happy about that. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing. Let's be jolly. Deck the halls with bells of holly. Rocking around the Christmas tree. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Okay guys, hello again. Sorry if I didn't really film much yesterday. I was kind of in a weird mood. It was just one of those days for me where I get into the mood where I don't really want to be around anybody or talk to anybody. Kind of just want to be to myself. So um, yeah, I was in a mood yesterday and I thought it would go away by the time I got out of work, but it didn't. I still was in the same mood. So um, yeah, I just had a day yesterday and it was weird because I got a notification on well, not a notification, but when I opened up my Snapchat, I came across to one of my snaps from last year where I was actually filming the, you know, decorating my room for Christmas video and mental health update. And it was just weird because, you know, yesterday I wasn't really feeling my best. And then to open up Snapchat today and see that, you know, it was only a year ago where I was going through this weird situation with my mental update. So I don't know, it was just weird, but um, we're good now. I'm good. I don't know what was up with yesterday, but I, I'm better now. So, um, hello again. Happy Thursday to you guys. And, um, yeah, that's basically it. So I actually just finished some more Christmas shopping for my family because today was payday. So I'm very excited about that. So I am pretty much good to go on everybody. The only person that I need is Debbie because she still hasn't sent her freaking Christmas list even though we have been asking her for it since, you know, before December started. So I'm just waiting on her and then everybody will be set. So I'm very excited. Baby's getting her new brakes on. Show me.
Okay guys, so a little update for you guys on why we're working on my car right now. As you guys know, when I got the car, it had minor issues and basically little by little, my dad has been trying to fix it. So right now we switched the oil filter and the oxygen sensor and um, air, filter, or air, I mean oil filter, the oil itself. Mm -hmm. Breaks. So we're doing that. Um, my car has been showing that it needs a oxygen sensor. Oh well, no, like a check engine light has been coming on because of that. So now that my dad fixed some few things here, we're gonna see if by resetting, um, was it the battery or the engine? By resetting the check engine light, see if you know that's basically what the problem was, and if not, then obviously we're gonna figure out what the rest was, but. But the, the, the code that I gave for the check engine light was oxygen sensor, lower stream, downstream, what they call it, because this one carries two of them. So I went ahead and replaced, I replaced the, the first one previously, so months ago, and now I replaced the second one. So let's hope that that's enough to fix the issue. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Take the funnel out. This is gonna drip, so we try to clean the internal part of it. And then we'll just leave this wrapped up with the tip. It's gonna drip a little more. When I plug in the battery right now, mm -hmm. the alarm's gonna go off, so get ready to turn it off. Okay. We set. Okay. Check it again. My dad is our mechanic, guys. I do basic stuff, general stuff, almost all general stuff for us. <laughs> not for no one. I'm not for hire. She's good. We good. Now let's, we just let's, need to let's, let's test if, her out. Let's see if, uh... Okay, so change of plans. We are now in Debbie's car, but eh, ooh. before checking, okay. <laughs> before checking to see if, okay. Before checking, oh my God. Before checking to see if the car is okay now and the light for the oxygen sensor is off, we gotta go and take a quick trip to AutoZone because looks like we need a new radiator cap because ours just messed up. So let's go. <laughs> okay, we're back and we got the radiator cap already and then i also went ahead and got some air fresheners because my car stinks of food because somebody decided to put some thanksgiving food in my car and it spilled so now my car is penetrated and um they won't be for long so so i let my dad choose the scent since he is the one that currently drives my car so he wanted to get the wild cherry one so now my car is gonna go and smell like some wild cherry hopefully Okay, so now that we have everything that we need, we can go ahead and check to see if my car is better now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check this sucker out. It's off! Yay! So, oxygen sensor is good, and now we check everything else. Trip P. Turn it off. Okay. Then you press it again and hold it. And let it turn on until the light turns off. There you go. It's off. Yay. Now, you turn it on. No lights on the dash. We are all set, guys. We have to wait. We have to run it for a while. Not my dad. <laughs> the time is almost ready. Don't mind the tree. We're still gonna look for a little star to put there. But we got some snowflakes up here which aren't completely set. Guys, we're still in the process of decorating for December, so bear with us. Don't smile. You know I hate it that you're so fine. No, stay. Like it ain't fair Why well, you making me, making me go crazy No, I don't wanna fall, but boy, you made me My heart ain't never been so out of control Oh, nah, nah You're making me so mad You tease me like that I'm gonna get you back
The garland didn't end up working out. Um, turns out it was too big for my window. And so I tried to put it on the big old empty wall that I had in my room and it didn't work there either. It kept coming off. So didn't get to use the garland and um, kind of sucks, but whatever. I'm good with what I got with the lights and with my little Christmas tree because, you know, you can never go wrong with the little Christmas tree. Why is my candle making that sound? <laughs> little outfit of the day this blue and white stripe t-shirt that i have popped with my gray coat that i got for christmas last year my black levi's and then these cute new little booties that my mom got for me from kohl's thought i'd go ahead and wear them out today before i go to work later on because <laughs> your girl closes today so that's fun Hey guys, so I just got home from work and just finished washing my face. So can we just take a second and just appreciate how freaking big this shirt is on for me? Because they decided to send more extra large than other sizes, so your girl got stuck with a dress basically. So to fix it up a little bit, I literally just tie a knot in the back so it doesn't you know, so it feels like a shirt rather than a dress. But it's just, it's really funny. Like, come on. Tiny old me in a big ass shirt. That's funny. That's really funny. Anywho, so work was actually pretty good. I didn't end up closing like I thought I was. Um, I got up an hour before we closed. So technically I was closing, but not entirely closing, if that makes sense. So it was pretty good. Um, had a good day. It was a little slow at times, but it was okay because I was busy anyways doing other stuff, so yay for that. And as I came home, my mother showed me some pajamas that she got me. So, hey, they actually feel pretty soft. So they're basically these pat, pad, these plaid sapphire pajamas. Got the pants and then have the long sleeve right here. These are in a size, oh, I think my mother was kidding actually because these are large for some reason. Okay, so the pants are a medium and the long sleeve is a large, so, mom? Okay, so these are actually meant for me, um, but turns out my mom was kind of in a rush and didn't pay attention on the size of the actual clothing, but she focused on the size of the hanger. So this is what we got. Um, I mean, the shirt's comfy. I don't really care. I like big shirts. They're pretty comfy, but um, the pants are another story because basically got this whole gap right here <laughs> and it's just so baggy like the pants are a no but I mean I'll keep the top <laughs> oh man this is funny what the frick this is like what is this right here <laughs> oh my goodness I feel bad oh well I guess my mom could wear them to her size basically so okay so like I said I just stood with the top and as you can see it's baggy because it is a uh, large so kept it anyway because it's still comfy and then I just put on some shorts because, you know, those guys did not work out. Okay, so I think we're gonna go ahead and end the video right here because I actually have to go to bed. I gotta wake up early tomorrow for my eight hour shift and it's already 11 at night. So I wanna get some rest and be a little bit refreshed for the morning. So yeah, <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Sorry if there wasn't much to see for this week in my life. Um, we all know that my life isn't that entertaining. So so if that's what you are expecting, you are watching the wrong person because we all know my life isn't that crazy. So sorry. But if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and throw me a big old thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those post notifications to know when I post. And don't forget to follow me on my social media to keep up with my not so entertaining life and with my channel's life. I love each and every single one of you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>